Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a counterattack read in this game situation. This is a college game. This is Wagner and White and UCSD and Blue. UCSD is in a zone. I want to pay attention to your top of the screen as we get this counterattack going. Goalie makes the save. They got the shot where it wants to be. And now the player is pushing the counterattack. He wanted that ball way earlier, but he was able to get it right there, dig it out, and put it away. We'll watch it all from the beginning again, and we'll break it down here. So again, ball's bringing up to the four spot. This is the shot that they want in their defense. You can see the drop there in two meters. A little side pressure. Get that shot. Goalie makes the save. So not the greatest jump, but the defender for the white, for Wagner, stops to watch the ball and this allows the UCSD player to get a jump on him. So right there, instead of trying to grind him, he's got speed. He's put his head down. If we just back it up a little bit. So right here, his head pops up. He even turns over. He wants that ball. And that ball needs to come out by the goalie. It needs to land somewhere right around here so that he can just go full speed into it and go straight to the cage and put on a one on nobody. But for this instance, the goalie is actually staring to the sun. So he's having a little bit of issue reading who the offense and who the defensive player are. His bench is talking to him and telling him to put it up. Uh, the score of the game allows him to take this risk to put the ball up for his player. And even though it comes late, we're going to see where it lands here. It lands right there where only his teammate can make a play on the ball. And the goalie who's coming out, actually if that ball is put out here, he's going to be able to poke that away. But his teammates here are able to get a good pass. He digs out before the goalie can get there, and he gets the goal. Now let's back it up and watch the goalie for the second read. Okay. Should the goalie have come out? You can see right here, his hips are already up. In reality, he should probably be out about right here on the two meters line, be ready for that overpass. There's a little bit of a risk that maybe the goalie can throw a full court shot. But again, at two meters out, he has time to go back and get that shot. And the goalie has to make a perfect shot on the cage to put that away. But if he's out a little bit further, he puts pressure on this goalie who's staring in the sun to actually make a better, the best pass that he can. But he's a little bit back. And again, that ball is just lands perfectly. It's right there. And if the goalie was already at two meters, that extra stroke maybe is able to poke that away, maybe gets that ball under. But the attacking goalie on the counterattack puts it right there and puts it away. Now, if we look at the end result, it looks bad that the goalie came out because it was a goal. That's not really the issue. He's facing a one on nobody. He knows if he just stays back, he's going to get scored on. The high, the, the high percentage chances for the field player to put that shot away. His hips are up. He's ready to pounce. If that goalie just makes a slightly bad pass or doesn't put it right where his teammate can handle it, the Wagner goalie can easily poke that away and get the steal and prevent that goal. I think that's a good opportunity for him to come out on it. But as I was pointing out earlier, he should have been probably around two meters when the ball's at the opposite end, putting a little pressure on the UCSD goalie to make that pass. Mm -hmm.